baby. Oh, I love how to lose a guy in 10 days. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a corner. Hey, what's up, y'all? Have we got any romantics in the house? Burr, 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 burr. I love romance. Valentine's Day is upon us yet again. Or for those single ladies and gents out there, we will just call this Independence Day, our National Independence Day, as single people. Either way, this is the perfect time of year to talk about one of my favorite kinds of movies. We're talking rom-coms, people. My favorite thing about a rom-com is that, like when they hate each other first and then they love each other at the end. I love tension. What? Tension. So the most recent rom-com I've seen is Maybe I Do, which is good. Some of my favorites are You've Got Mail or As Good As It get, Gets. As you said, As Good As It Gets. What? What is it? I was drinking at lunch. I am about to put my rom-com knowledge to the test and relive some of the most iconic moments with a rom-com quiz. Ooh, I hope I do well. I want y'all to play along with me and make sure you comment below some of your favorite rom-coms and moments. Moms. <laughs> was I drinking at lunch? I wasn't, but like, whoa. You get what I'm saying. Let's share some love. Let's go. Round one for the love of trivia. And you've got mail. What is Kathleen's AOL screen name? Oh, shop girl. Around the corner. Shop, yeah, shop girl. Yeah. In the proposal. Oh my gosh, I love the proposal. <laughs> Starring Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds, what state do Andrew's parents live in? Alaska. Yeah. Beautiful. What's the name of Elwood's dog in Legally Blonde? Mm, I don't know that one. I know Bend and Snap. Oh, Bruiser. It's Bruiser Woods. Yep. Yep. Which Julia Roberts rom-com came first, Runaway Bride or My Best Friend's Wedding? I'm pretty sure it's my best friend's wedding. I love my best friend's wedding, but I will say Runaway Bride, I like a little bit more. Okay, good. Um, which, which actress has starred in the most rom-coms? Um, Julia Roberts, Jennifer Aniston, Drew Barrymore, Reese Witherspoon, or Sandra Bullock? I want to say Sandra Bullock, but it's a tie for me between Julia and Sandra Bullock. It's Jennifer Aniston? Really? You know what, every time I think of Jennifer Aniston, it's never gonna not be Flair and Office Space. Yeah. Office Space is just one of, that's not a rom-com, but I just mean, it's yeah. one of the greatest films ever. I love it. Okay, round two, rom-com quotes. What movies do these famous quotes come from? Okay. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a corner. That's Dirty Dancing. Oh my God, y'all. Patrick Swayze. Oh, love him. This charming 80s rom-com's iconic line, as you wish, Princess Bride, as you wish, yeah. Iconic Julia Roberts quote, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her, Notting Hill. Hey, I love that one. That's so cute, they're in the bookstore. Oh. Walking into the ball, our leading lady tells herself to breathe, just breathe. You said balls. I'm imagining it's the new version of Cinderella. Oh. Oh, wait. It's not Drew Barrymore in Ever After, is it? Oh, I, I, I forgot about that one. Ever After, oh my gosh, when Drew comes out in the angel-like costume. Oh, it's so great. And he's cute. He's delicious. I'll have what she's having. I mean, what is that, when Harry met Sally? Like, is it? Oh, I was like, oh my God. That's a great iconic scene. Um, yelled Kelly Clarkson. Oh, well this is 40 um, year old virgin, <laughs> which was hilarious because I literally found out about this while walking into a movie and it was in the preview. I'm pretty sure is how I found out. And I was like, did they just yell my name? Did he yell my name? Yeah, it's amazing. I love it. It's actually one of my favorite things. I love Steve Carell. Round three, music moment. If I fail this, what a letdown. Oh, I love how to lose a guy in 10 days. What song? You're so vain, Carly Simon. I bet you think this song is about you. She's like up on the. Actually, fun fact Kate Hudson really can sing her ass off. I did not know that. And then I thought she was like being funny, like and just playing the role. And then I saw her, I think it was like, that's my jam or something. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what? She like flipped the script on some song and sang it kind of like. 
old school vibe, she's really good. What song did Heath, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite soundtracks. Sorry, I'm gonna finish the question. What song did Heath Ledger sing in uh, The Bleachers in 10 Things I Hate About You? Um, this is one of my favorite soundtracks ever that has ever been put out. Um, uh, well, um, um, and then he sings the, oh, he's in the stand, the ba, 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 uh, uh, I love you, baby. Okay, can't take my eyes off you, Frankie Valli. I was like, I was like, I could see him. I could see him in the stands. I love that movie so much. I love that version, Frankie Valli, and I love the version that Lauren Hill did. In my best friend's wedding, what song does Rupert Everett's character sing at the family lunch? I gotta be honest with you, I like My Best Friend's Wedding. It's not my favorite, it's yours. She loves My Best Friend's Wedding, that's her favorite. I think it was hard for me to watch just a woman just being just so hardcore trying to just, I don't like girls stealing other dudes. Mm -hmm. What is the song? Oh, no, 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 I got it. No, no, it's an old school song like a, like a, uh, no, 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 I say a little prayer. Yeah. I actually knew it. I just heard it in my head. I was like, it's Aretha Franklin. Okay, in 51st Dates, what Beach Boys song does Lucy sing on the days she meets Henry? I've never seen 51st Dates. It's Drew Barrymore and it's Adam Sandler. Yeah. I know who's in it. I don't know if I've ever seen it. And I love both of them. I don't know why I missed that. Hopefully, God only knows, because I love that Beach Boy song. Oh, oh wouldn't it be nice? Oh, I love that too. And Mean Girls, is that considered a rom-com? It's got a romantic lead in there. <laughs> okay. It's funny. Okay, I like it, I like it. And Mean Girls, what, I didn't know. What Christmas Carol do the girls dance at the time? Is it Jingle Bell Rock? Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did Ariana like redo something like that? I feel like she did. Yeah, I like. She's funny. Oh, what movie is there a dance scene to? I've had the time of my life. Dirty Dancing. Yeah. God, I love that movie. It's complicated. Is number one. You've got mail. Is number two. And sorry, they're like a classic. Oh, I don't know. It's. I'm in between. As good as it gets in Sleepless in Seattle. God, I feel like the 90s and like 2000s, I feel like there were just, there was a lot there. I do love How to, how to Lose a Guy in 10 Days too. That is amazing. Let me know in the comments your all time favorite rom coms, and I'm probably going to go watch The 51st Dates. I've never seen that. Here I go, again on my own. Oh, well, <laughs> wrapping this up alone, single on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm actually fine with it. Um, all right, y'all have a good Valentine's Day. Peace out, bye. bye.